Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thank you for spending some time with me here on the channel today. Today, I'm in Nampa, Idaho at United Family Homes and I am excited because I have found another gorgeous, absolutely just fantastic triple wide here and this one is built by Kit Custom Home Builders. This one might have just cracked my top five all time triple wides and it's just absolutely just astounding. So let's get going so I can tell you all about it. All right, everybody, let's take a look at the curb appeal of this awesome home built by Kit Custom Home Builders. I mean, already taking a look at that dormer, that is a nice touch. It's sitting on a 412 pitch roof and we have fiber cement siding on this home horizontally and vertically with plenty plenty of windows to let all of that natural light in and i'm not sure if you saw it on the other side but there was a door there now imagine putting a garage on this home and how that would look what we're looking at today everyone is the grand manor 6013 built by kit custom home builders this is a three bed two and a half bath sitting at 2724 square feet the dimensions of this home 70 feet by 40 feet and it is amazing. The base price for this is $339,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, let's mosey on in this gorgeous home to take a look at all of it. Walking in, you're walking into a little foyer here, and on the right-hand side is a study. To the left-hand side, we've got a wet bar. We're going to take a better look at in a moment or two. But this living room, look at that coffered ceiling right there and those big, big windows and just soak in the size of this living room. The size of this living room is 21 feet 4 inches by 26 feet eight inches and before we get started do me a favor hit that like button that always helps out the channel helps this video get out to more people and you're just letting me know i do something okay and if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted and you'll be able to see these as soon as i release them but just taking a look at this home i'm in awe i love that look right there um one thing that i love about this house is as you can see it's not a true open concept floor plan you know we have some separations in the rooms kind of like these archways right here i like that it's kind of kind of cool kind of odd i like the way it walks right on into your dining room and um you know but on the other side of that it's just open right on into your kitchen the size of this dining room huge 17 feet one inches by 13 feet four inches so imagine the holiday parties and the holiday meals that you can have in this home let alone if you wanted to get yourself a drink you could just walk right on over here to this wine bar right here it is already set up for a plethora of bottles and um everything you might need i love the frosted rigid um cupboard glass there that is nice and i mean you could just put whatever you like in here um plenty of storage and it looks fantastic um i love the countertop i'm digging the backsplash design and over here of course you have plenty more space and storage for things that you might be needing for your dining room um i don't have a big dining room so i don't know what i'd put over here what would you put in these drawers in this area let me know besides wine because that's what everybody would put so let me know in the comments below but taking a look just this this home is huge it feels so residential and it does not feel modular it does not feel manufactured it is just a nice looking home and walking into the kitchen I mean just take a look at that big big window we have a huge farmhouse sink with a pull down faucet and the same backsplash um, and and countertop design throughout the whole kitchen so that is a really nice um, you know we're going to spin around and take a look at this island which I absolutely love because I cook a lot when I'm at home um, that's the one thing I do miss when I'm when I'm out on the road is home cooked meals and take a look at this cooktop i love that it's right on the island you can look at you know your 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 guests talk to them while you're cooking and what i like about that too is it has the vent right in the middle so that vent is sucking all that air down and getting rid of it and that is the exhaust port right there for the uh for the uh, the stove here which is 
amazing. I would love to cook on that, especially with like all of this counter space. I mean, you're cutting, cut, cutting, you're cooking, everything else. I'm digging that. I'm really digging that. And then uh, spinning around, taking a look, we have a nice, there's your oven. There is your microwave oven as well, right on top of each other. Um, that is cool. Makes it really convenient. Like I said, I, I would honestly, this kitchen, I would love to cook in this kitchen um, because just all the space, everything. I mean, the, the amount of room you have for your refrigerator, that's, that's amazing. And, you know, if by looking around for a couple of moments here, you think you have plenty of storage and plenty of room, um, I'm going to show you something else in a moment that um, will surprise you because there's even more storage in this room. See, all these cupboards, all of that, taking a look. Huh. Up top, even look at that. You have a, now. What would you do with that? Like I, I couldn't reach up there, so I personally would make that a little more, de you know, decorative. Um, you know, there's a little bit of room up there for dust bunnies, but like I was saying, more storage. Let's take a look at this huge smuggler's pantry, pirate pantry, hidden pantry. Um, but this pantry is absolutely huge. You have plenty of shelving, you know, let alone, let alone those are reinforced shelves. So put whatever you want on those shelves because those will, will be able to handle it. Absolutely. I mean, and take a look. That is big. You can actually kind of make this a, uh, another bedroom if you really wanted to. <laughs> Just kidding. So let's kind of move along and take a look at the rest of this house. I mean, so far, this kitchen and living room are absolutely just amazing you know and let alone this this island is also an eat-in counter um so you can fit like i think it's like three or four seats around there you know so just imagine you know you could give yourself a uh, a wannabe henny a benihana experience right there what do you think <laughs> now let's go take a look at this utility room which is another whole house by itself now taking a look while walking in, you have plenty of space right there for your side-by-sides. You have a, uh, a rod for hanging stuff, a nice sized wash sink, and as you can see, cupboards galore. We have plenty of cupboards everywhere in this home, which is really nice. And now, what do they look like on the inside? They look great. <laughs> That's the one thing I like, I like about Kit. The inside of all of their cupboards are always white. And that, that's, I don't know, I, aesthetically, to me, that's pleasing. I like that. And we have a nice little uh, window there letting that natural light in. And here is where your half bath is. So, you know, if you, you know, depending on where you live and, and, and how you use this room, being a laundry room, utility room, or mud room, um, this is a great spot because, you know, when you come in from the outside, um, if you need to use the restroom, it's right here. If you need to clean up your boots or anything or, or everything else, it's all right here. So that is nice, you know, before you even track anything into the home, you can kind of take care of all of that, which is nice. And then one thing that I liked about this home, because, you know, it's one of the uh, biggest complaints we hear is where do they put the hot water heater? And I just called it a hot water heater. It's a water heater closet right here and your air conditioning is right next door so or right next to it so that is where all that is situated and located and right there to the left is that door i was talking about that you could easily add a garage to so that is nice you know and you know there's some options some features about this home that um you could change you can add you know this home is available mo uh, as a modular as a hud manufactured home but if you want to know more about that you know that click the link in the description below uh, that will take you directly to this floor plan where you can uh, take a 3d tour see some photos we took um, see some more video and most importantly get that pricing directly from a retailer near you and find out where you can go see this home in person today we are at United Family Homes in Nampa Idaho but I've seen this home everywhere in the PNW and it is absolutely gorgeous and as you can see we are at the wet bar here so depending on what kind of day you had um, you know you can walk right on in grab yourself a drink and relax um, again plenty of storage right here for everything that you might be needing for any of that so that's nice real nice somebody forgot some uh, candles there apparently but I mean some good quality construction um, Kit is not playing around when it comes to their homes. I mean, they are just 
great, great homes up here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I can't say enough, you know, good things about them. Um, and you know, now right here off to the to the right hand side of the front door, we have the study. Um, now, this is one of those features that you can change from a study into a bedroom if you wanted to. Oh wait, actually, I'm wrong. This one is set up for the bedroom. Um, there are some um, homes that you, more often than not, this is a study, but this one's set up as the bedroom. So forgive me, everybody. This is now a four bed, two and a half bath. The size of this room is 11 feet, eight inches by 13 feet, four inches. And as you can see, looking inside the uh, closet here, We've got those reinforced shelves everywhere, and they can hold a lot. I mean, those are five-gallon uh, paint buckets that come along with the house to, to uh, you know, patch up any kind of paint when it's delivered. So um, that can hold a lot. And sorry, everybody, I didn't realize, you know, I didn't walk into that room because I've, I assumed it was a study like some of the other homes that I've been in. So my apologies. Now let's go take a look at uh, some of the guest areas. I love the archways that they do in the, these homes. That is a long archway as a matter of fact so that's really cool and now you know we're going all the way down to the first uh, guest room here and that guest room is uh, 12 feet by 13 feet 4 inches um, and as you can see we've got seven and a half foot sidewalls I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet but seven and a half foot sidewall center that go up to I think it's about eight feet nine feet um, in the center of the home. So uh, the size of this bedroom is actually really nice, I would have to say. Let's take a look at that closet. And you know, one thing I do like about kids is a lot of times in their closets, they build you shelving units. I mean, this is, comes with the home. This is not an afterthought. This is not aftermarket. This is what comes in the home when it's delivered to you. So, you know, those are little added bonuses. I mean, that's what, four shelves with a little bit on the floor there and for um, uh, hanging rods. That's amazing. That's amazing. And now let's check out the other guest room, which is really close to the size, actually. This one is uh, 11 feet 6 inches by 13 feet 4 inches. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but the uh, air or the heat and air are coming from the floor on uh, this model. So that's where that is coming from. Um, but again, we have another nice size closet with all of that storage. Look at that. That is nice. Oops, <laughs> I closed that one a little too hard. All right, now let's see what else we have in this huge, huge home. Um, right behind here, this is a closet. You know, I would probably use this for like, you know, games, knickknacks and things like that. It looks kind of like a pantry, you know, design, but, um, yeah, what would you guys store in this? I would store a lot of, like, like I said, you know, like uh, board games, kids' toys, and all of that stuff would be great right there, right? Dead center for them to play with, so that's cool. A couple more closets over here we're going to take a look at. Um, this one right here, just a normal coat closet. Pretty nice. So I have a question for everybody. You know... I've done a lot of home tours. We were, we're over like 200, 250 home tours right now in, in, in the couple of years that we've done this. Um, we're walking into the gas bath of those dual vanities um, with an elongated toilet and a nice drawer bank right there. My question is, what is your favorite home to see? Um, you know, do you like triple wides? Would you rather see more single wides? Would you like to see double wides? Um, and, or even park models. Uh, I ask because I'd like to bring you more of that content or see what we can do. Um, you know, what would you like to see out of the channel? Let me know in those comments below. And now we're taking a look at this nice 30 by 60 wraparound tub shower combo. Looking pretty good there. Nice, nice. You know, it, it, it's kind of cool, like... The edges of the home, you know, you're you got seven and a half foot, you know, sidewalls, but look how tall the ceilings are here. Um, that is really nice, and that's like the majority of the home, you know, as you saw in the uh, living room, uh, most of it's tall like that, and even in the kitchen, so that's really cool. And then right behind this door, we have a storage closet, a few shelves here, it's looking pretty good. I mean, the storage capabilities in this home, absolutely outstanding. I don't think I've ever owned enough stuff to actually fill up this home, but hey, 
And now we are in the primary room. Now the primary has two closets in it, and it, the size of this room is 18 feet 7 inches by 13 feet 4 inches. Good, nice size windows letting that natural light in and just take a look at this nice size room. I mean, you can fit a lot, you know, in this room. Easily you can fit a king, plenty of dressers. Um, but with the built-in shelves that they got in here, would you really need those dressers? <laughs> I mean, take a look. Probably I wouldn't, but a lot of people people would. Yeah. So we have those built-in shelves right there. Nice, strong, reinforced, really nice. See, we got another one on the other side, um, a bigger closet, as a matter of fact, than this one. So let's go take a quick glance at that, and then we'll go uh, check out the primary bath. So see, all of these, you know, built-in shelves, built-in shelving. This is great. Um, I didn't pan down to show you the... Um, crawl space but uh, the one thing that kit does is they have a crawl space uh, usually in their master uh, I mean primary closet where you can actually go underneath the home um, and it's easier so you can wrap up around the home and not let any critters in there so that's kind of cool um, kits like the only ones that I've seen that do it so um, walking in to the primary bath as you see we have a nice little drawer bank right there dual vanities and one big nice mirror um, plenty of lighting in there I love the uh, the square glass blocks uh, separating uh, you know giving some light into the shower that is really cool and then spinning around over here we have a nice big soaker tub um, with a uh, window right above let that breeze that natural light in um, that would be nice on a, on, a, on a summer's day you know and then right above that we have a nice you know a couple of shelves uh, it has a nice arch in there. It looks pretty um, for some knickknacks, decor, or whatever you need. And then we have some storage right over here. Taking a look. Nice. Nice. This home is really awesome. I mean, like I was saying, it is definitely cracked. Hi, how you doing, everybody? My top five uh, triple wides. Um, and, uh, you know, pretty soon I might do, you know, some top fives. What do you guys think? Should I do some top five single wides, top fives, top tens even? Let me know in the comments below. And then, I mean, look at the, the texture on the walls. We've got rounded corners in this home. And, I mean, take a look at the tiling and just the shower in general. Like I said, I love those glass blocks. But, I mean, those kind of remind me of, like, you know, the 70s and 80s. So that's, you know, where I come from. So that's why maybe I like it. But that is a nice uh, design choice. I like that. It does have a bench in here. Um, and everything is built up to what you need. Nice shower head. Um, yeah, this home is amazing. Amazing. Really nice. Sorry, I was just kind of soaking up the, mat, the the primary bath and checking it all out. You have your water closet over there. Nice, really nice. Um, and like I said, I like this home because it's not like an open floor plan. You know, you have your kitchen, you have, you know, your living room kind of close together, but it, it does have some separation. And then all of your living quarters are over here, which is really nice. I dig that. I like that. But um, what do you think? I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you thought about this home, what you think about the channel, what I can do to make it better for you. Um, and we'll do it. But off to the next home tour after this one. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I truly appreciate all the support, all your time, and everything else. And I hope to see you again wherever that home tour is going to be. But, of course, in the meantime, you know, this channel always asks you to, live smarter, and choose manufactured. Travel easy. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I'll see you next time on the, new, on the newest home tour.